Hi Earth Signs, welcome to my channel. I'm an intuitive tarot card reader. Welcome Virgo, Taurus and Capricorn to your end of year forecast for October, November and December. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, don't forget to leave behind a like or a subscribe if you enjoy this content. Otherwise, let's jump into it. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising or uh, Cappy, Sun, Moon, Rising. This is powerful. There's a major ending um, taking place for you, Earth Signs. Let's have a look. Okay. Commotions, dysfunctions, turmoil, opinions, um, collaborative environment, friendship groups. Um, a lot of this is coming to the surface. So I feel like tensions or things that need to come to the surface will come to the surface and you'll be able to mediate them. Okay. The King of Cups sits on top of the surface of the water here. So. Um, everything is going to rise to the surface and it's all going to be exposed. Um, this is truthfulness, honesty, things, you know, any cracks, all of that is going to come to the surface. So it could be quite an explosive next few months here, um, Earth Signs. You do have a, a fair bit of intensity that comes with the Five of Wands, um, especially with the Seven as well. Um, you're going to see who's really truthful and who's really there for you. Could be friends, could be lovers, could be people you work with, people that you rely on. Um, people around you will show their true colors um, and you'll see everything for it, for what it really is. So there's a lot of, um, a lot of shocking discoveries, maybe uh, upsetting discoveries, maybe very surprising discoveries. Um, things that you didn't think were possible or plausible um, will come to the surface here because you're a bit of a lone wolf with the seven of wands for a lot of you. Um, but it also shows determination, fire and ambition. Um, so I love that. And I feel like if there's anything like in terms of obstacles or things coming to the surface, you'll be able to handle them quite well um, and then deal with them um, respectively. You know, the Six of Swords can be seen as an exodus. It can be seen as a separation, leaving something behind. Um, it can be moving away from a situation here. Um, but it can also be enlightenment and um, mentality, like a more clear mentality, because the Swords is all about the way we think. Um, the fact that the boat, you know, sail uh, floats on top of a, a, a ocean here symbolizes emotions. Uh, so what this is, is managing emotions or um, getting through something. Now, for some of you, if it's heartbreak, you'll heal. Um, if it's a distancing, you'll heal. If it's a separation, you'll heal. Um, the Six of Swords can be a physical journey, however. So some of you might just be moving, traveling, um, pursuing adventure, wanderlust, uh, or things like that with the Six of Swords. So it could be quite exciting and exhilarating because new beginnings um, will manifest for you with the Magician cards. So uh, that is quite nice to see. Nonetheless, if it's anything to do around family, around children, um, migration or moving, if you've been waiting on this, if you've been waiting to move away from a toxic environment, you're finally going to break free, um, breaking free from unhealthy cycles, breaking free from competitors, um, leadership, okay, really owning and dominating something um, could be coming up around you as well, earth signs. Maybe this is in regards to career, maybe relationships, maybe just spirituality, but you're finally going to take control. It's like you're going to disregard what anyone has had to say to you here with the five of wands, um, competitors, haters, anything like that. I think you're going to move past that and overcome because the king of cups is deeply triumphant, okay? Um, I definitely feel like emotionally you'll be more settled, okay? Um, but the King of Cups represents a lot of intensity. Now, intensity isn't always bad. Um, it can be that you'll start to feel things you haven't felt before. Now, this could be connected to epiphanies, realizations, understandings, you know, these aha moments. It could be that you're connecting with someone more closely. Maybe someone that was at a distance. Maybe it's a romantic partner. Maybe it's a friend. Um, maybe it's just overseas companies you might be working with. Uh, but I feel as though the King of Cups can also symbolize falling in love because the King of Cups holds the royal regalia. regalia. And ultimately, what this is symbolic of is that his offer um, is of the highest 
how to say um, his offer is worthy. Um, his offer is trusted because he brings honesty. He brings emotional expression, emotional maturity. Um, you'll see emotionally emotional growth within yourself, I think, um, in the next three months, but also the people that are around you. I definitely think uh, I feel like whatever surfaces in the next three months, I feel like it's meant to happen. Earth signs. I feel like it's going to help you give you help give you a different perspective on things with the King of Cups, but it's also going to allow you to love or truly appreciate or manifest something. So, I mean, it, it, it's quite good that that's here. Um, but look, it can definitely be emotional attachments. The boat is also protection. The boat in the middle of the spread here. So a lot of you are going to be more protective um, over the people you love, or you'll find that the people around you are more protective over you. They're investing more, they're caring more, they're showing more empathy and compassion, and you'll come to notice these things. But the King of Cups could be falling in love. It could be finding a passion in something. It could be putting a lot of emotional worth or investing in something here, Earth Signs. Now, for some of you, there might be entrepreneurial pursuits with the magician, a new beginnings uh, create in regards to creativity, maybe in regards to love, could be with an Aries. Um, it's quite a trailblazing energy with the magician. Um, he really is the master of his own craft. He's got everything out on the table here. And like I said, it's everything coming to the surface. Um, it's almost like an explosion of something here. Like everything is coming to the forefront. Everything is bubbling up. The past, um, you know, relationships, work, commitments, creative pursuits. Everything is coming to the surface here. Or you're going to reveal something. Um, but I do feel like something major is going to be revealed for you. Um, because what happens with, with the magician, he makes things appear in our life very, very quickly. He has that skill. He has that ability. He's known for that talent to make things happen almost instantaneously, unexpectedly, surprisingly. So I do feel like there could be something major that is revealed um, to you by the end of the year. Um, and again, the magician is, is pretty good. He's pretty, uh, he's pretty good in able, um, enabling to work with something and continue his trick, if that makes any sense at all. Um, improvisation, I think, is the word I'm looking for. Um, and managing, dealing with things. Um, but it's really improvisation. So I feel like whatever it is that's going to be revealed, ultimately it might come with some shocks or surprises, but ultimately I feel like you will overcome them. But like I said, the magician can definitely be entrepreneurial pursuits. It can be independency. Um, it can be having a lot of admirers. The magician is very um, admired, uh, admired for his, his ability. So you might have a lot of people coming to you for affection or for love or commitment. Maybe you might have a lot of follow, a lot more followers. It's like a boom um, because he's in the, he's on the public stage with the magician. So it could even be finding fame or coming to prominence. Um, you know, coming into a, a, a large following influencing um, or becoming a, a very good influence or just a major influence on other people. Um, leadership as well. The magician is Aries. Aries um, tend to be very, very good leaders. They lead the zodiac. Um, and especially the magician, he represents number one. He's got a beautiful infinity symbol here. So infinite cycles or the notion of cycles are coming up here as well. Um, so that's very good to see earth signs. Nonetheless, I will leave it at that. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to leave a thumbs up or a subscribe.